Welcome to the Author Studio at Book Expo 2007. We're sitting with Jack Gantos right now. He is the author of the Joey Pigza series, and we're going to talk about book number four in that series, and it's entitled I Am Not Joey Pigza. Welcome, Thank Jack. You. Thank you very much. Sure. Tell us about that main character, Joey Pigza, and what the series is about conceptually. Joey Pigza is a young boy, about 11, 12 years old. He's got ADHD, so he's a very active character. And he's got kind of a wacky, dysfunctional family. And it's Joey's journey through the series to really deal with some of the issues of, you know, his relationship with his mom, his dad, his grandmother, and himself, too, really trying to get himself right in life and feel comfortable in his own skin. All right. And the latest in the series, I Am Not Joey Pigza. What are the specific challenges Joey faces in this book? In this particular book, it's very specific that Joey, who has such you know a difficult family that he's forgiven his mom he's forgiven his grandmother he's forgiven himself really but not his father so this book really deals with joey trying to deal with the burden of giving forgiveness and getting the forgiveness off his shoulders uh, joey has adhd yes and i'm wondering what kind of research you've done if there are any real life experiences that have allowed you and have prompted you to write a book about this when I was a kid growing up, there were a lot of kids in my neighborhoods. I moved 30 times. I went to 10 different schools. There was always a kid like Joey in my class or in the hallway or in the neighborhood. And, you know, I'm a big reader, and I never saw those kids in books. They were in life but not in books. So I go to schools. I see them all the time in schools, did research, talked to doctors, and really got all the basic mechanics of it right and the, the the medical side of it, right, and then just went to town writing about this character. One of the key themes in, in this book, I Am Not Joey Pigs, is the importance and power of forgiveness in our lives. How did this theme become central to this book? It became central by, almost by omission because it wasn't until I'd written the first three Joey Pigs of books that I realized that Joey had not forgiven his father, and it really seemed... Um, like an absent element to the series itself. And I thought, no, we really do need to address this. It is an important issue. And forgiveness is a great gift to somebody, and it's also a great gift to himself. And so we really needed Joey to once again sort of take that issue on and resolve it. I'm hearing about forgiveness. I'm hearing about dealing with uh, ADHD, which is very prevalent in today's society with, yes. with children. What are some of the other messages you hope people take from the books? They're really kind of two strong messages. And one is when you look at a character like Joey, you know, he comes into this situation with ADHD, kind of an out of control kid without really good supervision. And he manages to overcome that. So overcoming it is one thing. And the other thing is this. When kids read these books, I get letters from them every day saying, we've got Joey in our class. We're going to give that kid who's driven us nuts, we're going to give him a second chance. You know, Now we know what he's like on the inside, and we're going to help him out. You take Joey's mother in this book, and you've made her a little different. Her personality has changed a, a little bit. You've made her a little less down to earth. You've made her less the voice of reason. Why did you decide to take her personality, her character, in a little bit different direction? One of the reasons, when, whenever you write a, a sequel or a series, it's not just Joey's series, it's the mom's and the dad's series as well, so everybody has to have a role. But in this particular case, the father comes back into the life with a little bit of money. They've never had money. And the mom is perhaps a little bit seduced by this easy cash that's taking place, and it's the money that sort of drives her out of her orbit, her normal orbit of life. But eventually she comes back, you know, she sort of cycles through it. And she does come back to a steady place, but she does get carried away. Would you call these children's books? What, what's your target audience here? They are children's books. But I have to tell you, these books are used in colleges. For, they're used in communities. They're also used in, for teachers, for teacher in-service as well. So it just seems like these books have really found a, quite a wide-ranging audience, an audience that surprised me. But now that I see them coming to me and tell me why they use the books, then it all makes sense. All right. The author is Jack Gantos. Thank you, Jack. Thank you very much. And it's the latest in the series of Joey Pigza stories, and this one is called I Am Not Joey Pigza. Thank you. Thank you very much.